Hi, this is Lynn Como with Close to My Heart, and I'm here to show you Summer Vibes, my newest kit of the month that will also be an online, an online crop on Saturday, July 25th. So details about the crop will be posted, but it will be a great day to create scrapbook pages as well as cards. So let me just show you the line, the beautiful product line for Summer Vibes. You can see the beautiful colors that we have here and the papers. A lot of the details are with the acrylics as well as the Picture My Life cards, the combo card stock, and these papers and stickers are gorgeous. Just look at this adorable sticker sheet and you can see how some of it is a little bit glossy and the colors really pop. Your colors that we'll be focusing on are Nectarine, we have Candy Apple, Lemonade, uh, we also have Glacier. There's a little bit of pink but I'm really not focused on that one white and your fern and um, just wonderful, wonderful pages. The pretty papers, we have the wave, which I use quite a bit of, but there'll still be some left over, which also reverses over to the fern, and you can see the zip strip here. The hero paper being summer, and then it flips over to the stripe, which is one of my favorite patterns. Look at this bold floral pattern. The colors are striking, which also flips over to the red check, and we'll be using this zip strip that is the yellow scallop. The colors are just so pretty, and the punch outs are even nicer. We're definitely going to be using this beautiful stamp set, which is the Scrapbooking Summer Vibes stamp set. So you can see that all of this also comes with thin cuts, which I really, really like to use because they just make stamping so much easier. So this is what you'll see close up. These are the stamps and the wave has a thin cut. Look at all of those thin cuts that every single one of these stamps has a thin cut. So no fussy cutting for you. Another stamp set we will be using, and many of you already own this, is Build a Plaid. I'm using one or two stamps out of this. This is just a great stamp set to have for so many items. I did not use this one, but this is adorable too. This is the card making stamp set with thin cuts. And yes, these are sold separately, so if you don't want thin cuts, you do not have to purchase them. But you might love the bubbles and sending sunshine and the fish. Really cute stamp set and thin cuts. Another new product, look at this. This is Hooray for Today, which is a double thin cut. We have a solid as well as an overlay, and I did use this quite a bit on the pages. Let me also talk to you quickly about the different items I've used. These are the markers. Now, the markers are used to color in a little bit of the cabana, but you can also use markers to color in the white pearls. When it comes to inks, I use quite a bit of inks because they all coordinate so well, but the least that I've used is Candy Apple. You could also get away with um, using Smoothie instead of Candy Apple the way I used it. But you could see we have Smoothie, Fern, Glacier, Lemonade, Intense Black, and Candy Apple. Now this is the workshop kit. This is the kit that we will use, which also comes with seven sheets of cardstock, nectarine, black, and white daisy. You'll see it also has punch-out sheets. So there are five exclusive die-cut sheets as well as one pattern paper. And I really am using a lot of the product that is in here. And here are the acrylics. So you can get this with uh, paper um, page protectors or without. Totally your choice. And that's the Close to My Heart artwork. I did like this page, so I somewhat duplicated it. And as far as cards, let me tell you that for the online crop, you will have the opportunity, if you'd like to, to make these adorable cards. So if you have a sweet tooth, you love ice cream, this is a perfect stamp set with thin cuts for you. And if you don't want to make the cards, that's okay. You'll love you having the papers and the stamp set and thin cuts to create more artwork for your scrapbook pages. But aren't these cards adorable? You make 16, four of each one of these, and I'll also have a list of the extra supplies needed, which really isn't too much. We have the black intense ink, which we'll be using for scrapbooking, a smoothie ink pad, 
but they also use watercolor paints or you can use watercolor pencils. Maybe you want to use shimmer brushes. So really easy as far as additional supplies. You know me, I love to use the mix-ins and one of these um, packets will be used for the pages that I've created. I love the Glacier Check, really cute. I am using this fern pattern as well. I am using this stripe, which turns over to this pattern. So these are the three patterns out of this right now that I'm using. And I think that's it. And there are the new shimmer brushes. So you can use, I used the lemonade on the bonus page. You'll see that. And here's the thin cut, hooray for you. And green apple is one of the new shimmer brushes. All right. Just so you can see what size and color the acrylics are, that's what comes in the workshop kit. Okay, let's go on to the artwork. So just, you should think about joining me on Saturday, July 25th. It's an all-day crop from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It'll be on a Facebook group. It's $30 for the crop. We'll be making 13 pages, and you will be buying the product separately. But if for that $30, I am also going to be including a cloud stencil. So this is the cloud stencil, which is out of Artiste. And I use this and I cut it three inches. So everybody who signs up for the crop will get one of these, as well as some swatches of our holographic paper. You will get two four by three swatches of both Dreamy and Oasis. I only used a little bit, so I really want you to just try it. And I will mail those to you separately. All right, here comes the artwork. These pages are just gorgeous in person. So here you can see how I did the cloud look, and that will be shared on the um, online crop. And here you can see this is the holographic paper for the sunglasses. So I thought that was really cute to do something like that, and that is using an X-Acto knife. Here's your acrylics as well. And you'll have plenty of stamping to do too. Here are the waves and the surfboard and some of the leaves and these cute little flip-flops. I added a little bit of Bitty Bling or regular Bling and that's up to you if you'd like to add those. Many of you already have that in your stash. All the best memories are made in the sand. Isn't that the truth for the summertime? These pages are just gorgeous. And you'll see how we'll be cutting the wave paper apart so that you have that effect of being in waves and having items tucked in between. Okay, on to the next. So here's that page that you saw um, that is very similar to the Close to My Heart artwork. And I changed it up by adding some of the mix-ins. And here's the hooray for today, thin cut. And I how I pick and omitted a piece of it just for the underlay of the for today. Really cute. I love this camera. So that's part of the uh, either a sticker or a picture of my life card. I don't remember which. And here I wanted to show you, this is one of the border stamps. So you could see how that orange really pops off the top and the bottom. And that was using the Nectarine ink pad. And it really does make a difference. I love blue and orange together and orange is definitely my color. This is another one of my favorite pages. Totally love this Summer Vibes title. Cute little sunglasses, adding a little bit of black. You can have three and a half by five or three by five photos. Some things that are just a little bit narrower than your normal four by six, but are, isn't this paper adorable? So here you can see you're using quite a bit and this is the exclusive paper that's only sold in the workshop kit. And this checkerboard look is a frame that is a punch out that you get inside the workshop kit. And I changed mine up so I didn't use the summer there, but I changed it up a little bit, filling in with more photos. And I love that I used the PML card and I used a little bit of scissor snipping to create a little fringe look on my blanket. If I was going to the beach, I'd definitely want a little fringe, wouldn't you? The umbrella, love the glasses, the picture my life card, the stamped waves. Totally loving these colors. They're just so bright for the summer. 
Now this page was really fun and I'm showing you here, this was the mix-ins and I basically made a cute little border going all the way around and you can see the beautiful stamps. Now I have this here because I wanted to point this out to you. There are a lot of yellow uh, flowers in this kit and you can see this would work together. But I wasn't a big fan of doing it that way. So I flipped my flower over and I sponged it and I flipped this over and I either put a colored top on here or I colored this and I kept the white top. So you can see here this look. So I sponged a nectarine and kept the white flower. Same with the blue. You notice those pearls? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about with those tri-blend markers. You can change the white pearl to the color of your choice. And I use the ice, ice blue marker here. Another thing was the ferns that were punch outs were yellow. So I flipped those over and I sponged them in fern. That really worked for me. I did not want to use a lot of yellow. So here you can see some stamp rolling and some more of those pretty flowers with the pearls and some stickers. Now for those that have these pocket pages, you can also buy them separately. I love, this is the 4x6, but I changed it to show you you can do a 3x4 photo and a picture of my life card, a 4x4 photo. There's one of those flowers, right? And I used a journaling picture of my life card, some stickers, and I changed it into a 3x4. So you have lots of photo options, and this would get inserted inside your uh, album. So pretty. I hope you're really enjoying these pages because they are so beautiful and you have such an array to use them for this summer to capture all your beautiful moments with family and friends. Now I love the way the summer word came out. These are punched out and they are large. They're almost, uh, they're about three and a half inches um, or three and a quarter by three and a half inches. And I loved using the wave paper, tucking some of them under. And I wanted to show you my little secret here. I made a, I popped this up a little bit and I put my journaling card inside so you have a little bit of an insert. And I'm using some black dots on these pages too, my black and white dots. You'll see them, we've used them plenty of times already, so you still might have some left over in your stash. Now here is that cute little cabana that I colored in. So that's optional for you, but that's stamped. I used a little bit of liquid glass on the window. I don't know if you can see how cute that is. The beach balls are adorable. Love them. This, all the different stickers. So that was the only thing stamped on this page where everything else are punch outs and stickers. You could easily add four by six and a four by four flip flap so you can have more photos. Okay, watermelons. Okay, summertime is about good eats, right? Outside with family, friends, enjoying a good time. Doesn't have to be a page about eating watermelon. It's just celebrating life itself in these crazy times. And if you can spend it with family and friends, let's use those photos on these pages and just enjoy the fact that it's the summertime. But this beautiful watermelon is a punch out. And one of the things is you punch out the seeds and you back it up with the paper. I took those seeds that most people would throw away and I colored them, sponged them in with black to sprinkle a couple of watermelon seeds on my page. Now there's another hooray for you, right? Look how cute that is. Summertime. I love summertime. Really cute. And if you don't want to do a five by seven photo, you could do two three and a half by fives. Have fun with it. All right, lastly, my bonus page, the last page that I created. Now, I want to show you we have those new shimmer brushes, and this is the one in lemonade, and I just spackled it or splattered it with the lemonade first. And you can see, here's the hooray for today that I did in the black and yellow and the glacier paper and the lemonade paper. And I'm really just using scraps of my papers, whatever I had on hand. And this is right here is part of the mix-ins. So you have the stars that come in the punch outs or the sticker sheet or the acrylics and just very easy to come together. And I did it on a little bit of an angle. I don't know if you can notice it here, 
but it's really adorable, this page. So that's it. That is my Summer Vibes workshop kit. I hope you'll enjoy it. I would love to have you be a part of the online crop. If you have any questions, reach out to me, lincomo.closetomyheart.com or find me on my blog at lincomo.com. Hope to have you on the crop on July 25th.